Hi folks, Ivan here with ST Microelectronics. I wanted to let you guys know that I put together a technical video on feedback compensation of Viper converters. Poorly compensated feedback can often create problems, even though it's actually simple to test and very easy to get right. So I made this video to hopefully help you with your next design. This video is now uploaded on YouTube and you can watch it here. If you're going to design a Viper power supply, I think you can benefit from the tips on compensation that I highlight in the video. I've seen that most of the time, buck topology seems to inherently have poor stability and engineers might miss that or confuse it with something else. Buck topology can be a little more difficult to compensate and this is very much related to the topology itself. That's why in the video, I focus on back uh, converter specifically, but nonetheless, a lot of the things that I talk about apply to flyback as well. I don't really discuss the theory of feedback systems because in and of itself, it's a huge topic. Theoretical calculations are heavy to work with and complicated for practical use. That's why I give an example of how to employ eDesign Suite for, for this purpose. Our online design tool integrates all these equations into a much simpler and faster to use design environment. You can see which parameters are more critical for the stability of the circuit and how to customize some parameters to ensure good results. And I go over that in the video. Then you will see an example of a demo board that I set up to specifically have a poor stability and you will see how the switching voltage and switching current behave when stability is compromised. That is a typical example that the compensation network of the Viper needs to be improved. After that I show how changing a capacitor improves the behavior. And finally, I show you how to test the power supply to ensure that you implemented the right improvements and that the solution will work in all specified conditions. I hope you will find the video useful. Also, if you have any recommendations, please leave a comment. We monitor our videos regularly and we do appreciate all your inputs. Also, make sure to follow the ST Microelectronics channel on YouTube for lots of technical material.